Operations Mission Directorate at NASA headquarters in Washington. Steve Stitch, the manager for the commercial crew program from NASA. Said NASA and Boeing safely returned the Starliner spacecraft uh, just after 11 p.m. Central Time to the White Sands Space Harbor in New Mexico after spending approximately three months attached to the International Space Station. It's great to have the Starliner home. Um, a safe and successful landing was exactly what we wanted. Um, it was uncrewed. Everybody could see the systems work is, is what, exactly what we wanted. It was a great day today to return Starliner. Uh, it was great to have a successful undock, the orbit and landing of the vehicle. We're really excited to have Calypso back on the ground. You know, Sonny told the ground team, you've got this, bring Calypso back, and that's what they did tonight. Uh, I am thrilled for our Boeing team and all of our colleagues that worked this mission across the country, uh, on the NASA team and the Boeing team. Uh, they've put a lot of heart and soul into this mission over many years, and it's a, te a testament to those people that we got the vehicle back safely today. It's really great to get the spacecraft back, and then we'll start the next steps. So we've been talking to the Boeing team already about next steps. We want to get into the spacecraft uh, and start working on the helium system. You know, we talked about, we know we have a seal that we've got to go replace on the flanges on the RCS thrusters. We need to upgrade that material to make it hypergol compatible and then maybe a little bigger size. We'll do that. Uh, Boeing's already formed teams to look at the, the changes that need to be made for Starliner 1 uh, in terms of. Yeah, I think it's always hard to have that retrospective look you know we made the decision to have an uncrewed flight based on what we knew at the time and based on our knowledge of the thrusters and based on the modeling that we had and we you know if we'd have had a model that would have predicted what we saw tonight perfectly yeah it looks like an easy decision to go say we could have had a crewed flight but we didn't have that we didn't have a way to take that white sands uh, testing and anchor it in a model and so I think we made the right decision to not have Butch and Sonny on board. Uh, it's, awfully, it's awfully hard for the team. It's hard for me when we sit here and have a successful landing to, to, to be in that position. But, um, you know, it was a test flight, and we didn't have confidence in, with the certainty of the thruster performance. And that's really what led us to, to choose to have the uncrewed test flight. Came uh, out of the plasma, um, one of the, the third uh, SIGI space integrated GPS INS 